Welcome to the Mitcham History Notes YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you views of Mitcham from 1934. That was the year that Mitcham became a borough. And it was peak civic pride year. They produced this booklet, the Mitcham Official Guide. And it has a number of photographs. Let's have a look at them. We start with the Three Kings Pond. Nothing much has changed since then. The Three Kings Pub, possibly named after the three wise men of the biblical story following the, Bethle the stars of Bethlehem, as in the hymn, We Three Kings of Orient Are. If you look closely where it says Three Kings, it's in quotes. And here's a photograph taken in August this year, over the front of the building, and it looks pretty much the same. Currently offices and flats. Going towards the fair green from the Three Kings Pond, this view will be very unfamiliar. What can be spotted in the right hand corner in the distance is the King's Arms pub. But apart from that, it looks pretty, pretty difficult to match it up with a current view. So here's what it looks like today, using a street view. So, going back to the 1934 photograph, the trees on the left hand side surrounded the Methodist Church, as shown on this 1932 map from Ordnance Survey, digitised on the National Library of Scotland website. Also a note from this photograph are the tram lines. There was a tram service that went through Mitcham along the common to Croydon. The Mitcham Public Library was built the year before in 1933. The land was donated by a builder by the name of Joseph Owen. His company built most of the Tamworth Park area. He donated the land, he contributed to the cost, and no doubt he had a word in about what would go into the building. The doors were made from Austrian oak, as was some of the furniture. The building included a newspaper room, the current extension on the left hand side as shown in this street view, was built in 1966, I think. The Tamworth Farm Recreation Ground. The land was donated by Thomas Mason of the Mason's OK Source Company. The chalet building on the left hand side was demolished in the late 1990s unfortunately. This pathway that leads round the recreation ground is still there and the tennis courts on the right hand side behind that fence were recently refurbished and are still up and running and available to rent for free. The cricket ground hasn't changed much fortunately. The only sort of changes we can see from this photograph is that building on the right hand side, numbers 8 and 10, Cricket Green, no longer has their chimneys. It, has, it was a solicitor's for a long period of time, but it's now converted into housing. And unfortunately, I suppose the biggest change from the 1934 photograph to today is there's never that number of people who go to watch a cricket match. And finally, the Wilson Hospital, donated by Sir Isaac Wilson, as he became total cost of 120000 in the 1930s, so it's quite a big sum of money today. He also donated money to build the Mitcham Garden Village, apparently as a, as a model of his home village in what was called Cumberland then, it's called Cumbria now, and he also donated money for the Cumberland Hospital, so named after his home county, and his own home, the Birches, is now an NHS property. So that's it. Those are the photographs that were in the 1934 Mitchum Official Guide. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, press the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Leave a comment. Bye for now.